Owens shielding his eyes from the sun. Won't have a play on it as it bounds through the end zone. Chris Cook on to punt. Javier Arenas awaiting. No pressure. Tumbling kick by Cook. Will be picked up on a hop by Arenas, and he is swarmed under immediately. Crimson Tide will not have as good a starting position as they thought. A flag thrown very late. A dead ball foul, personal foul against the Crimson Tides. Chris Rogers, a 15-yard step off. So Alabama will have it at its own 19-yard line to begin this drive. So the Tide will snap it from its own 19-yard line, Darby. The lone setback as LaRon McLean goes into motion. Now shifts back into the eye formation. Still plenty of time. Ten on the play clock. As John Park Wilson drops deep. Rolling, throwing on the run. D.J. Hall trying to come back for it. He is grabbed by the FIU defender. Shotgun now for Wilson on second and seven. Good protection that time. Deep ball, near side, wide open. And what a grab, yes or no? Yes, it is. What a grab by D.J. Hall. Oakley and Hall, the wide outs on first and ten is Darby. His first carry of the day. Nice little cutback inside the 30, inside the 20, all the way inside the 10-yard line before he's ridden out of bounds by Malik Jones. Last week, Darby never really got untracked against the balls, but a good run the first time he touches it on a running play. He'll get it again right up the middle. Slams down inside the five-yard line. And that's the group that really took the biggest hit with the suspensions and the dismissals. Second and goal, Darby straight ahead. He will power it. Close to the goal line. John Parker Wilson under center will give it to Castile. Angling right, keeps his feet, but wrapped up and spun down for a loss on the play. Four out of eight on the year on fourth down. Jumbo package stays in there. Fourth and goal from the one. Castillo driving forward, but he's going to be stopped short. Third down. And a long nine for FIU. Padrick wants to throw from the end zone. Guns it. Complete far side. Catch made and a first down. So a fresh set of downs for the Golden Panthers. They'll snap it from their own 16-yard line now. Patrick again to throw. Over the middle, complete to the tight end. Check that to John Houston Witten. Don Strock in his fifth year as head coach at FIU. Get out for receiver downfield. Offense from 83. Five-yard penalty. Still first out. The style might be different. They're still keeping opponents relatively in the, in the low teens or so, and you can win a lot of football games if you're able to do that. Arenas feels the punt at the FIU 45. Tiptoeing, he'll pick up about three yards before he is taken down. Movement up front. More movement up front. And that one will cost Alabama five yards. John Houston Whitten awaits at his 10 with another flag down. Booming kick. Whitten fair catches. At his eight-yard line, but check the flag back at the line of scrimmage. Decision for Don Strong. Illegal formation on the offense. Six man on the line of scrimmage. Five-yard penalty. Repeat fourth down. With Whitten standing still at his 10-yard line. Almost identical kick. Fair catch. And they pick up about a yard on the play. Padrick unloads deep down the boundary. It is caught in stride. Dickens wrestled down near the 20-yard line. Dustin Rivas into the game to try the field goal. 37-yarder on the way and good. So the big play gets Florida International out of the hole. Final play of the first quarter. Wilson deep over the middle for McCall, and it's incomplete, but here comes the flag. Contact 
by Jeremiah Witherspoon. About a second too early. Pass interference. Defense number 13. 15 yard penalty to the previous spot. Automatic first down. We'll have one untimed down. I heard Alabama's time with possession number. <laughs> Jimmy Johns. Straight ahead, barrels across midfield once again, brought down by Beyond this buoy. Mark Wilson frustrated at the end of last Saturday's game. Frustrated as he comes off the field there. Fitzgerald hangs it up high. Fair catch made at the 15-yard line by John Houston Whitten. Golden Panthers with it, starting from their own 15-yard line. Patrick, three-step drop and throw. It is caught by Jeremy Dickens. Second and five now for FIU. Attaway running right, spinning off the tacklers, finding daylight in front of him. He'll take it out across the 30 to the 31 before Jawan Simpson can chase him down. Pressure and partially blocked. Tide breaks through and gets the piece of yet another punt. Jimmy Johns in the backfield. Wilson will throw on the slant. Catch made by Will Oakley. Makes one man miss. Still on his feet. He'll be stacked up, driven forward by a teammate or two right to the 10-yard line. Another first and goal for Alabama at the 10. Play fake. Wilson swings it out to LaRon McClain. He will take it in for the touchdown. Christensen puts his foot into it. High and deep. Owens, two yards deep, will bring it out. Across the 10, slam down out of bounds, right near the 15-yard line. Kind of not happy to give up that big play in the first quarter, but his defense has been pretty solid for the most part. Terrible kick that time, but checks up nicely and actually takes a pretty good roll for the Golden Panthers. It'll come to a stop right at the 40-yard line. Play fake for Wilson on the bootleg. He will gun it. It is incomplete looking for Will Oakley, but here comes the flag. He was tied up nicely. Panthers crowd line and back off as Darby gets the handoff over the left side. The feet moving. He'll take it inside the 40 to the 39. Tied needs. About four yards to keep this drive going. Quick throw and catch. What a pick. DJ Hall plucks that one out of the air. An interesting look back. I thought I saw ESPN do, it, do something on Terrell Owens. Had a similar situation and has come back and bounced back. So hopefully great things will happen with that player also. 46-yard field goal try on the way and good. Jamie Christensen, a career-long 46-yard field goal. No pressure that time, and the best kick of the day for Cook. It sends Arenas back around his 32-yard line. Gets to the corner. A late, very late flag comes flying in as Arenas finally tackled at the 37-yard line. Going to return, block in the back, 26 in the receiving team. 10-yard penalty to spot of the foul, first down. Cost Alabama great field position, though, back at their own 28 now. Wilson pressured, dumps that one off to Tim Castile. He'll be spun down at the 35-yard line. After Jimmy Barnes warms up, Jimmy Johns works from the shotgun. He will keep it. Weave his way down near the, or up near the 45-yard line. That is more than enough for the Alabama first down. I don't hold anything back. I don't play conservative. I don't just hand the ball off. Give it all to the young man. Barnes split wide as Johns hands it away. Inside handoff to Castile. He'll power across midfield down to the 44-yard line. Johns from the shotgun. 
He will keep it and he will get buried back near the 49 yard line. A loss of about five on the play. 90 seconds, clock ticks. It's third and 15. Barnes from the shotgun. Guns that one over the middle, complete, but well shy of the first down. Wobbly kick. Widden lets it go. Rolls dead near the 13-yard line with 28 seconds to play in the first half. Final 15 seconds. Patrick will take an E, and that'll do it for the first half. Tide will head to the locker room. Good news is, Bama's got a lead, 10 to 3, and we'll send it down quickly to Tom Roberts. Yeah, he's uh, going to have to get his feet wet here, and uh, unfortunately, uh, hopefully, John Parker's not hurt too bad, but um, you know, we just got to go with uh, with the next guy, and we got to go make some plays. We're not, uh, we made some mistakes in offense, didn't get the ball in there early, and that could have set the tempo for the whole game. Defensively, except for the one long play, not bad. Yeah, been pretty good. We got to keep it up now uh, in the second half, even better. All right, thanks, Coach. Will Oakley goes into motion for the tie. First play, a handoff to Darby. Shifty moves, gets him through the line of scrimmage, out across the 30, near the 31. He'll pick up eight yards. Second and two, Hall, the motion man this time for Alabama. Darby once again, straight ahead, first down. Ducks his head and takes it out to the 35-yard line. 14 rushing plays for 76 yards. 14 pass plays for 76 yards. They've run it twice. They've run it three times here in the second half. And Darby picks up five more on the ground for the tie. And Jimmy Johns lines up under center. McLean, the motion man. Johns rolling and thrown down for a loss on the play. Alexander Bostic, the third, had, had it diagnosed and drops him for about a three-yard loss. John's able to get outside containment there. Has a lot of ground to work with, but unable to do it. It's Gerald on the punt. Tumbling short kick. Whitten lets it bounce. Comes to a stop right around the 30-yard line. Arenas had a good return the last time he touched it, but it was negated by a penalty. Tumbling kick once more at the 35. Arenas trying to set up his blockers. Gets to the edge. Down the sideline. Cuts it up at the 30, the 20, the 10. He is in for the touchdown. Paul McCall stays in there for FIU at quarterback. Fumble on the play. Picked up by Alabama. Simeon Castile. Out of bounds inside the 10-yard line. Second and goal. Darby back in there. We'll get the handoff. Right up the gut. Spinning. Crawling inside the five. Down to about the three-yard line. Alabama likes to run a play action in this situation down at the goal line. They'll give it to Castile. Stacked up. Right at the goal line. Castile dots the eye. McLean in front of him. Castile gets it, and he will pick it in for the touchdown. <laughs> Averaging a little over 13 points a game, just 13 first downs a game, and about 250 total yards per outing. Witten. Feels the kick off around the two-yard line. Runs into his own man, look like, and he'll be driven back. Cool off the tide a little bit. Patrick looking, gunning over the middle. Catch made, and that will be good for the first down by Ashlyn Parker, another freshman. It's clock ticking here in the third quarter. He dropped to Patrick, throws short, complete to Dickens down the sideline, pushed out at the 41. 
Confusion. Padrick keeping. Trying to turn the corner. He is ridden down, I think, just shy of the first down by Simeon Castile. I said confusion. That may have been a design play. And it is fourth and very short. Patrick wants to throw. Unloads. Incomplete. Bama brought the blitz on fourth and inches. Jawan Simpson forced that early throw. It's incomplete. And the Tide will get the football back. He does a nice, smart, heads-up play. Throws it short into the ground and saves Alabama about eight or nine yards. Whitten back deep to return this punt from Fitzgerald. Fair catch at the nine. Low, wobbly kick. It will take an FIU roll. Scooped up by Arenas. If I cleaned anybody's underwear, <laughs> I'm going to score as many points as I can. <laughs> That's a good point. Hooch punt. Fair caught by Witten at the 12-yard line. It really could be Mike's only chance to kind of get back at him. <laughs> Under 12 minutes. Third and about eight for the Golden Panthers. Three-step drop. High. Intercepted. Taken away by Ramsey Robinson on his way for a touchdown. Matt Cadell checks into the game to return this punt. I'm not sure if that was blocked or not. Ali Sharif applied some pressure, and it looked like Cook was maybe going to try one of those rugby-style kicks where he ran away. And Sharif checks into the Alabama backfield. Barnes will throw. Complete to Matt Cadell. Nice throw and catch. Barnes pressured up the middle. Unloads to Cadell in traffic. He's got the catch. He's got the first down at the FIU 20-yard line. Second down and 10 from the 20. Cadell, the motion man, to give the Sharif right up the middle. Ali. Third and right at five yards. Barnes will throw again. Pumps, throws, complete to Stover. First down. And Nikita able to reel that one in. Sharif the single setback. Huber the motion man. Barnes will throw again into the end zone. It is incomplete, but there come the flags. Matt Cadell. Very nearly close lined about the one yard line. Just a little experience. You got your third team fullback, your third team running back. Sharif, nope, play action, and down goes Barnes. Back around the 11 yard line. Bostic back in there after he left the field early in the second half. Marlon Davis back over at left guard. Evan Cardwell in there at center. Cody Davis in at left tackle. Barnes unloads to Baron Huber. That's a nice grab by the fullback. Third and goal from the six. Following the timeout, Will Dennison checks in at fullback. Barnes into the end zone. Cadell is there. He's got it for the touchdown. Cadell watches that one sail out of bounds as the final seconds tick away. And the Crimson Tide will celebrate a homecoming win over Florida International. 38-3 the final. As Mike Shula and Don Strott will meet at midfield. FIU falls to 0-8 on the season while the Crimson Tide improves to six and three. Tide wins its fifth straight homecoming ball game.
38-3 final here today. That is the second highest point total of the season for Alabama this year. 41-7 over Louisiana Monroe, the best point production of the year. Red Diamond final stats. 224 total yards for Alabama. But the tight offense did what it needed to do, and then Tyler got the help it needed. A defensive score, a special teams score, and no turnovers on the day. And that's the most important thing. No turnovers. You always find yourself in a football game with an opportunity to win if you don't give the other team, if you don't turn the ball over to them. So the Tide enjoys homecoming on an absolutely gorgeous day here in Tuscaloosa. The Bama fans get to go home happy as the tide rolls 38 to 3 over Florida International. For Tyler Watts, Chris Stewart, and our entire crew here at Brian Denny Stadium, I'm David Crane. Thanks for being with us. So long from Tuscaloosa.